Hello, my name is Rosie Appleby. I'm going to show you how to make a resin epoxy wave bowl. Equal parts of art resin, hardener and resin. Mix it up. I have four ounces here, which means two ounces of each. Three minutes, let it sit for a minute to make the bubbles come out. I'm using alcohol inks specifically made for resin and epoxy, which really makes it a lot easier. This is a plastic bowl from the Dollar Tree. I put a little hand motion in it so that the plastic garbage bag that I cut in half will sit in here without wrinkling up. This is getting poured in here. I mixed it up with a chopstick. I've got two pair of plastic gloves on. of this is it whatever size you want to use is fine just go to the art resin store calculator and put in the measurements so if I was to do that I would put in 12 by eight and a half and then it would tell me how many ounces I need sapphire blue I like sapphires. That's a really nice blue. And this is just blue. And that looks like some sort of turquoise. So this is just going to get swirls. If you spill any of the epoxy resin on your floor or table, it's best to just wait about six hours for it to kind of set. Then you could more easily peel it off unless you get it right away like I just dropped one little drop right there on the table and that that was easy so um oh, did I really just drop my white alcohol ink in there see accidents happen This is broken up mirror. Just really, really fine. I'm going along the edge.
it's the same method, same techniques and process if you want to make a lampshade like the one behind me here. This lampshade here. I got some light because I want to go on the edge with the white. Um, white foam is common in waves. I'm just going to give it a little swirl. a little bit right there. I also have these little plastic celebration table decorations. They will improvise as bubbles. Just gonna go around the edge, right on top of the glass mirror that I sprinkled on. This is gonna set up, it's the best way to do this. I won't be doing these projects probably in the winter because it's too cold. It requires warm temperatures. You know, it's a really hot day here in Benicia today. So I'm thinking, you know, this is a good day to do this. You know, it has to be, I would say 75 degrees in the house. And you, you want circulation, which kind of makes it a challenge because, well, you need the window open for this. And if there's any bubbles in here, you want to get your torch gun. You don't want to get it too close. But you want to get the bubbles out. And this painting behind me is actually made out of the same stuff. And I painted a wave with it on a wood panel. Okay. Anyhow, we will be back in five, six hours, however long it takes for this to 
set up enough for me to put it on top of a mold. Hey, we're back. It's been several hours and it's time to take our piece out of the bowl. And I'm putting it on top of the mold that I want it to be on. Wrap some tape around the bottom. Because I want the um, bowl to form the shape of the mold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try something. I'm just going to hold it down that way. And then tomorrow, this will stay like this for 24 hours. And uh, after 24 hours, I'll take this off. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, today's the day. I've got one glove on, just in case there's something sticky. What I have here is the bowl that we wrapped up in tape yesterday to keep its form. Oh, this is exciting. This is the fun part to see what it turned out like. It, it could be a fail. That, that's not always exciting, but it could be if you can turn your stuff into earrings. Anyway, here we go. Okay, I don't need this. I had some fabric covering the mold because this bottom edge sometimes shows up and I wanted to prevent that by putting this over it. So this turned out really, really nice.
can see some parts are translucent. Okay, ciao.